Hello there! What is going on everyone? We are going to be taking a look at Moff Gideon Commander Expansion for our Star Wars Legion. Moff Gideon in hand, also the leader of the new Imperial Remnant Battle Force. You can run him as a loyal Imperial or as a kind of late to the game Moff trying to do his own kind of creepy cloning and dark trooper experiments. However you want to run him, uh, you can do that. Uh, I think he'll work in the wider Empire as well as the Imperial Remnant uh, Battle Force themselves. And we're going to take a look at this. We'll show you the cards, everything that comes in here. Command cards, unit card, um, the Dark Saber that comes in here as well as uh, the Sprue. We'll put this whole thing together. We'll take a look at all of it. If you guys are new here to the channel, uh, we are still giving away a $25 Amazon gift card. You just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. Also, big thanks to today's uh, sponsor, Luxury Playstyle. Amazing full metal tokens, fully compatible with Star Wars Legion. Check them out. Amazing tokens. They're double-sided. They are metal. They are gorgeous. And you are going to love them. They're going to make you want to play your games more. Uh, be sure to use code VIP uh, over at LuxuryPlaystyle.com. That's going to save you 15%. So make sure you do that, and uh, you're going to love them. All right, let's go ahead and get this box open. Well, we'll take a look at everything that's coming in here. And here we go, folks. All right, that's everything in there. We've got our sprue. We've got our base. We've got our, our, our cardboard and our cards. And we've got our little, our little rules document here. So uh, we've got uh, some different ways if you want to get the instructions again they don't put them in here anymore it's always going to be a bummer to me i really liked when they printed out instructions but it's something that's not the easiest thing to do as far ahead as they have to make these uh moff gideon really nice full art on the back and uh and there's all of our our credits and all of that good stuff so um there we go let's go ahead and take a closer look at these cards and the sprue uh i'll do the sprue first and then we'll jump to the cards. So here we go. Uh, this is really just a one-piece sprue here. Not a whole lot to this one. This one should be fairly easy for a lot of people to assemble. You have a couple of different options. Uh, so for his, uh, what is his, his left arm? Or is it his right arm? It looks like it's his right arm. Um, yeah. You can opt to go with the Darksaber um, for, for this sort of look here. Yeah. Uh, or you can opt to give him a regular hand. Uh, or, or no, for his left hand is going to be like that anyway. Um, you can do the, the blaster hand right here. Um, so very cool. Yeah, those are both right arm options. I don't know why I'm thinking left arm for whatever reason. It's weird when you're looking at it on a sprue and it's not on the the uh, the actual model themselves. Sometimes it gets you backwards. Um, and then we've got the the uh, the little holster, whether it's got a pistol or no pistol, depending on how if you have it in his hand or not. You've got the other arm there. Uh, you can even, if you've got a spare Grogu, you can maybe even put a little, a little baby Grogu in his hand, right? If he's holding Grogu hostage, that would be pretty cool. Uh, you've got uh, a little base module here. If you want to have him standing sort of on top of the uh, wreckage of his TIE fighter, you can, you can do that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I don't know if I, if I want to do that. I, I might toy around with him and just see, uh, how he looks on the base by itself. Cause I like to kind of do my own basing materials. So, um, but yeah, if you do, he'll, he'll kind of be like that with the, uh, the, you know, the little extra bits. I might just put a rock under there or something else. So you got some different options. Um, so cool, cool. Let's, uh, let's take a look at these cards. All right. So in his box, you're going to get some observe tokens, some aim tokens, uh, some suppression tokens and a, a commander, uh, token. And, uh, there you go. Uh, and the unit card underneath, uh, he's going to be starting out at 100 points, pretty cheap, for a commander that can do an awful lot of things, um, which is, I think, part of the, uh, you know, part of the initial appeal is like, wow, that's, uh, I could have expected him to cost, you know, maybe up to 50 points more than that uh, for what he's able to do, which is pretty significant. So he's got a, uh, he's going to have two commands, a training and equipment, and of course a weapon, which will be reserved for the Darksaber. We'll talk that here about that here in a minute. Uh, he can roll two red in melee, or he's got a range two pierce one weapon. He does have surge to crit and surge for defense with the red defense die, so already very effective uh, at range two already. Um, Going to be really effective in melee with the dark saber if you decide to give that to him. Five black dice. Uh, he's going to gain demoralize one also. We can put out some suppression. Uh, 
and he gains immune to pierce when in melee when he's using that. So good defense against a Jedi that might want to come in and take him out. Uh, impact one and pierce one. Also, uh, for five black dice with surge to crit, big din already. Uh, even though the 15 points cost on there, that still makes him pretty formidable. Um, so I think that that's pretty cool. Uh, so all right, he's going to, for his first keywords, he's going to start with observe one. Uh, again, again, putting out those free observe tokens. That's a free action, by the way. You can do that once per, per activation, which is really nice. He's got Entourage Imperial Dark Troopers. Um, he definitely, like, everything about this guy wants to be with Dark Troopers, right? Uh, he's got command cards. We'll look at those in a minute. But he really wants to be with Dark Troopers. He, he can take up to three because normally they're heavies. You can only take two. He can take a third one because of Entourage. Or you can just run a single one or, or whatever. It's just going to be it's gonna be pretty interesting. Um, he's got Ruthless. This is a really, this is a new keyword. When a friendly core trooper at uh, range two and in line of sight has a face up order token, uh, it act, and when it activates, it can suffer a wound and perform a free action. This is a really interesting keyword. And with the with the battle force, um, you can, there's limits to how many actual core units. There's some some special forces that like count as core for list building, but that's it. Then they go back to counting as special forces. So this is one of those cards I think will actually work a little bit better if you run him in the regular empire list and you have like maybe six core, you can potentially get a lot of like, I think he'll, he'd work really well with snow troopers, for example. You know, I, I, I like that. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. He's got sharpshooter one. Which is okay. I mean, for a Pierce two unit or a range two unit, it's like okay. He's got Pierce one on there, so like I mean, it's good. Um, and he's got tactical one, so if he can get in there um, and and do some stuff, like he he's a close range combat guy, but he and he's got that range two kind of bubble that he can do a lot of damage in and also be very deadly with, and also issue uh, ruthless to his other folks pretty easily. Five health, three courage too. He's a three courage commander which is another really, really nice thing for only 100 points. Even if you give him nothing else, he's a three courage commander for 100 points. That's very, very cool. Well, if we look at his command cards here, is, we'll start with his one pip. Uh, it's a die at my hand. This is if you were running him a little bit more aggressively and you want to uh, get in there and do some damage. This is, uh, this is a decent one. He's not somebody who's really relying on being that aggressive, but this one is, can allow you to have a cheaper commander that can surprise somebody. Um, he is Relentless, an aim token, and a dodge token this round. So he's going to start with an aim and a dodge, and Relentless is the bigger thing since he's a speed 2 unit. He can move it, do two moves and cut somebody down with the Darksaber. Uh, this is pretty thematic, It's uh, especially for only 100 points. You know, he, he, he's, he's kind of in the ballpark of, of certain rebel commanders here that are that are cheap, but that can also be effective. And this and Relentless on him will turn him into being very, very effective. He'll already have uh, Tactical 1, uh, so he's going to have multiple aims at this point. Um, and I don't know if he even really needs the aim and the dodge token, uh, but they can be used for, um, you know, for extra. Just just a little extra, right? Um, so, yeah, it's just it's just very, very, very nice. Um, we got, let's, let's look at his 2-pip here. Uh, you have something I want. This was the first card we've seen uh, with Moff Gideon's face on it. Uh, this was a, a spoiled a long time ago. Again, I, I, he's got Entourage for Dark Troopers. He comes out with the Dark Troopers, and this is a card that needs the Dark Troopers in order to function. It's a two pip. If you're running him with a wider empire and maybe not running him with Dark Troopers, this is a card you just won't bring at all. Um, but it's a two pip. It issues an order to two units, and it cannot be chosen during the first round. After orders have been issued, you can choose a friendly Imperial Dark Trooper unit that has a face-up order token. You can remove that unit from the battlefield, keeping all tokens, then place it on the battlefield beyond range two of all enemy units, then flip the order token face down. Keep in mind that Dark Troopers have a second order token, so this basically lets him you do a free massive move to a Dark Trooper at the beginning of... Uh, basically, they, they kind of fly up off the battlefield and then they re-land somewhere else. Uh, it can be great for getting objectives, uh, getting behind enemy lines, trying to cut off positions, trying to separate enemy units and things like that, but you can't go too close to another enemy unit when you land them. Uh, but usually that mobility uh, is, is something that the Dark Troopers are pretty much lacking, and uh, the fact that they will be able to potentially activate one extra time is really, really cool. Lastly, our three pip here, a moment of consideration. This one is the really, really cool one. It is a uh, three pip. It's going to issue an order three core or heavy units. And uh, units issued ordered by this card gain fire support this round. What a very, very, very cool, cool card 
This is the most fun card I think he has. I think this is the the number one card he has. I think this is the the best card. Um, although, I'll, uh, admittedly, the two pip is good if you're running dark troopers, but this is the one I think you'll always take with Moff Gideon. Uh, it just it just seems too good to not take. Uh, being able to have fire support, uh, you know, is is something that the Empire just didn't have very much of. You know, you had just a teeny tiny little bit of it on those mortars, and if you're running him in the um, Imperial uh, Remnant battle faction, you won't be able to have those mortars. So this is the only way to give fire support in that battle force. Also, uh, this can let heavies do it. Now, heavies have been errated a little bit that if they have arsenal, they don't get to do the whole arsenal thing. They just get to kind of fire as normal. But still, um, having an ATST potentially fire support into uh, in, into maybe Moff Gideon's shot that has surged to crit already, it's like maybe now you don't have to put the Imperial Hammers pilot on your ATST anymore. You know, things like that. But also the Dark Troopers as well. They can they can fire support. And uh, and then still potentially activate again because of that second, uh, you know, the, uh, that second nonsense. So cool stuff. I really dig it. Uh, very very fun. Let's go ahead and build out this miniature and take a, a look at how he'll look when he's put together. All right. So here we go. We've got Moff Gideon put together. I decided to use uh, the extra sprue bits of the IG Eleven expansion. Uh, because you had a whole lot of extra body pieces, and uh, it, it extended too far beyond the base, but I decided to kind of clip some of the pieces off, and I can maybe make it look like he chopped this, uh, maybe he chopped a failed IG droid that failed to bring him, uh, you know, uh, Grogu, and, uh, you know, because he, he, he wanted, he definitely wanted Grogu also, and then this droid failed, so he just sliced it up. He's like, you're no good to me anymore, and you know too much, you know. So that's, that's kind of part of the thought there. Um, but yeah, so pretty cool. Um, again, I like to typically do my own basing as opposed to using the base when they come in there, but they, you know, it's cool that they give you different options. So, um, that's, uh, that's a good look at the uh, miniature. All right, everybody, that's our unboxing of Moff Gideon. Let me know what you think. We'll be also looking at Dark Troopers and, uh, lots more Star Wars Legion as new things come out and new news gets announced. Of course, you, if you want to learn more, you're in the right place. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe, uh, hit that like button, all that good stuff. I want to thank you all so much. Thank you, big thanks to my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing and help make this channel possible. So thank you for your continued support. I will talk to you later. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. And, uh, you know, apparently don't ever accept the Darksaber from somebody for free because you will cause the downfall of Mandalore.